Hello everybody and welcome to the Sonic 06 playthrough. I are probably so wondering. Ladies and gentlemen, this yeah, is it's time. Some things yeah. never change, right, Jova? Yes, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, it's time. This is well, we're gonna call this one of our legacy runs. What's our legacy run? Well, it's when we do an updated look at either a lost playthrough or basically a playthrough from our old channel, Council War Regiment. That's right, before Pedro the Portuguese, before Shiroi the Waleswoman, before Dwi the Welsh, I mean. Englishmen. The, the, point, the point being, this was an old stuff that uh, sadly got deleted or essentially lost uh, in one way or the other. So essentially, mm -hmm. we're doing again. And the guy responsible for the, the original playthrough is no longer with the group, so now it's up to me. Yeah. Yeah, it seems to be a better tech to do stuff, I might as well, like 60 frames, I'm HD, the only, I'm, the only, I'm the only one in the group that has both the game and the means to record it, so it's up to me. The poor soul. If there's soul. really some demand to hear the old audio files, we'll maybe release them, but only if there's enough demand for it. I don't have, worry, we're not like Sega, we won't hold it hostage like Sonic Adventure 3. Anyway, I, let's I have have the, the, for, the, <laughs> for the sake of providing context to everybody, I'm I am... the over adventure games are that good anyway, go on. For the sake of providing uh, context to everybody, first I'm I'm doing the Xbox 360 version of the game since that's the less shittier one because the PS3, <laughs> for, the, for those who don't know, the PS3 version has an even worse frame rate because this one, while it doesn't have frame rate problems, it's it's nowhere near as bad as the PS3 because the PS3, literally every single time you jump, the frame rate tanks. I am not I even kidding. I own the PS3 version. I can attest um, to that being a piece of crap. Yeah, I, 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 something I, I, played the PS, I played the PS3 version too. So, exactly. without beating around the bush, let's actually see the game's name. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Why? Why? Just the... Sonic the Hedgehog. To to Sonic to the Hedgehog. To to <laughs> uh, again, I I'm going to have to agree with Clement on what they should have named this game and move on. The point is... It was originally going to be called that, but then they changed it because anniversary... We'll get to that when we get to it. Anyway... Okay, everybody. Basically, we're going to start something really interesting. Instead of just starting the game in this part, I've got something special. What we're going to do is we're going to try to give all of you young ones out there who are probably not familiar with how it was the pre-release period of this game. So yeah. I'm going to give you guys a basic idea of how it was. Basically, All we're going right. to watch various trailers and some demos, and I'm even going to also be showing off the Xbox Live demo that is no longer available. So... Let's oh, jump. and that's not all, folks. We've also got a few other surprises here. News articles and a little special extras part later in the playthrough. Exactly. Let's play surprises. Yeah, now, just, let us uh, begin just... by going back in time. Let's, let's just from to, to, another world, soundtrack. to another world. So the first thing... I mean, I mean, how the... The only, the only, the only reason, the only reason this game isn't the worst one to me is that on the exact same day an even worse one came out. But Sonic, Sonic Genesis. Genesis yeah. Oh god. Anyway, 2006, this is the yeah. first time that Sonic 06 was ever shown, it not to the sure. public though, because this um, this tech demo we're watching right now was was back in Tokyo Game Show 2005 and it was shown beyond closed doors, but it was later leaked into the internet. So, so this was so this was the very first time that. Sonic 06 was shown in any way, shape, or form. This was the original goal on part of the developers. And as you can see, the demo looks far more impressive than the final game. In some ways, it still looks a bit wonky, but yeah, I'll admit this well, as, a as, a, as a tech demo, this looks fine. Fair point. I have to remember this was back in the early 2000s. Dear God, I was so much younger back then. So there you go. As you uh, Have you seen this video before, too? Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Although I have to say, even from this tech demo, one thing was pretty clear for what they wanted to do with this new game: the Eggman robot design. Oh is yeah. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'm gonna explain my stance on this. I don't hate the egg robots design from this tech video in the sense that I thought that okay, these are gonna be like you know, like oh, the beginner moves, and then we're gonna see more intricate designs. Sadly, that was not the case. And I'll admit, I actually do like this look on the egg carrier. Yeah, that character looks fine, but when it comes to yeah, the well, robots themselves, have... I'll just, I think Clement put it best. I'll take Motobug any day. Not just yeah. that, even I'll... in the worst case, even if you want to have just a Jerry Brendel robot, why not bring the Egg Pawn? They've been pretty established at this point. Yeah, and they would later bring them also, back. Also, Sonic anyway. getting shot multiple times. Yeah, oh yeah, God. yeah, that's an interesting thing. That, 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 that's, that's, <laughs> that's an interesting they thing. Need, need a reminder that this was right after Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. All right, so in this, uh, so yeah, Sonic turns into Super, and the demo will end right here. Come on, you could have at least shown, uh, could have at least shown Sonic destroying the robots. Come on. 
Well, he was running into them. Ooh. Okay, I mean, so make... still at Tokyo, make... still at Tokyo Game Show 2005. This was the very first playable build of Kingdom Valley, and the first mm. the first uh, difference you'll find from the finished game is how the camera is closer to uh, is closer to Sonic in this build. Sonic well, looks a bit taller also in this build. I don't know. Also, yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm kind of glad that in the final build the camera's a bit further away. I agree. Yeah. Also, yeah. Uh, also um, for those who don't know, the main concept behind this game, according to the Sonic team at the time, was what if Sonic was in the real world? Adventure uh. did it already, god dang it, and much better looking. Yeah, okay, can I talk about how frustrating that was to me? It's like, dude, you've already done it with Sonic Adventure, and you know what? Yeah, okay. Sue me, I actually did like Sonic Adventure's take on Sonic in the real world, because you know why? It combined realistic stuff with cartoony stuff. Like, yeah, sure, it had more realistic-looking humans, but it had realistic-looking humans in, you know, Speed Highway, a city that has a roller coaster road designed for its street and cars. Personally, I'm sorry. Later Not just that, that, even Sonic X uh, milked this concept to no end. Pers personally, I Although prefer Sonic the X Unleashed the Humans. Myself. Uh, I don't like the Unleashed Humans much, but whatever they're gone to now. But uh, not much to focus on, but yeah. Okay, for most of them's and purposes, the adventure games already had this covered, so I'm confused. I mean, heck, Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, uh, Joe, I have to ex too. Notice how um, even in this build, the homing attack already had that stupid thing where you cannot string homing attacks. You always have that brief period where Sonic slightly elevates into the air. Also, yeah. also notice how they're still slow down. Well, yeah. yeah, I should probably mention this game. One of this game's main drawing gimmicks, let's call it, was that this was going to use the at the time the also new Havix physics engine. Oh yeah, only thing that they do in this build, they in, I don't know if it's him going faster than the final game or if they're just zoom out the camera, oh. but he really looks like he's rail grinds rail grinds a lot faster in this build. Pedro, 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 they probably question. augmented the frames for this Pedro, specific question. demo. Yes, go ahead. Do you use the demo test footage that actually has one of the interviewees from the company that's like actually saying, we sped him up and Sonic's actually faster in that demo? Uh, I don't... Mm, I don't know about that. Also, real-time... Yeah, yeah, fun fact, everybody. Sonic was actually supposed to have a day and night cycle, believe it or not. Okay, we should probably... This is actually this is what this is one of the features that they had to cut because of the game's rushed uh, development. Also, I didn't really see the. Well, yeah. actually, 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 Tia, believe it or not, the stuff was supposed to change based off of day and night and stuff. And doesn't that sound familiar? Can mm. I um, can I be honest though? Uh, Sonic Unleashed. Go ahead, Dwebs. In terms of games that were rushed for a for a Christmas release. I'll be honest, so I think I don't, I don't think 06 is even the worst one I've seen. It's nowhere near the worst. And the, reason or 06, the reason 06 became such a big fiasco is like, well, up to this point, Sonic's reputation was, for the most part, still intact. I mean, yeah, the Hedgehog was a bit wonky, but for the most part, people still like it's just like this well, is the game that yeah. turned Sonic into a punchline, and and to this day, it still kind of is it for to the overall gaming community. Yeah. So. Oh, well, well, it, it's well, also uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Timing more than anything. Hold on, hold on. But... To be fair, Sonic is thankfully no longer the gaming community as a whole's punching line bag because well, IGN actually did get called out for trying to stir that business, and I'm like, thanks. Fans God. just want to have sex with Big the Cat, don't you know, guys? Yeah, it's like, yeah. okay, it is one thing I will give respect to the gaming community, it's like, well, they're to this point where they'll call out Sonic games for just the stuff they do wrong, which is why, you know, I'm actually, I'm okay with Sonic Force's reputation, because, you know what, even IGN were fair with their reviews, yes, it had problems, but they didn't try and treat it like it said X-06, and it's like, my god, we are, we are finally back to a day where they don't start off reviews with 06. Thank goodness. They're saving that but for the yes. next Sonic game. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. Needless to say, though, Sonic 06 was really that bad a game. However, like Twitch just, said, just it's to get not back to work. this, though, um... it's, it, yeah, it, it, it's, it's yeah. Bottom line, it's not the it's not the worst rushed game I've ever seen. As you can I'll see, I'll go on to that later. Yeah. Go on, Pedro. As you can see, despite uh, the change in the, the controls and camera looking different, the level design was already pretty much exactly what we already knew from the final game. Uh, this particular was this particular homing attack uh, in the final version, Joe. I don't remember it. Um, are you referring to how it looks aesthetically, the, or no, how the, 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 that, that that homing that homing chain of robots we just went through? Like, was that in the final game? I don't think it was. Um, I didn't find it. 
It may have been, but it may have been for Shadow Section. Also, oh, and there you go. Oh, Originally, open. Kingdom Valley ended here. Well, to be fair, that's because, you know, beta footage. They also, you, you can see already from here, but essentially, one big thing that they wanted to showcase with these oh, new games. Oh, oh, I think this the, is it. Was the new um, physics engine, as you can oh, see. Oh, yeah. Just tumbling down. Uh, don't, don't worry, Tail. Me and, me and Java will eventually bring up the original intent behind this game's developer when we get into the. Sure. Okay, sort of this, about this game's okay. development. Okay, I think this is the footage where the guy says that he sped him up a bit. I think he does. Okay, so just to yeah. explain what this is. The points in this. Uh, just to explain what this is. Uh, this is the E3 2006 playable demo. This is a couple of months before the game was released, mind you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. came out in um, 27... No, sorry, yeah, 2007, Ten, right? It's interesting to say that, uh, Shira, because according to the guy speaking in the video, uh, the, the, the second president, this is the PS3 version. So, as you can see, the PS3 version was apparently much better a couple months before it released. Also, <laughs> also, 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 I caught it. Yes, this is the video where he says we sped him up a bit. Yeah, that's one thing. Sonic is actually consistently faster in this game than he is in the actual game. Yeah. I don't understand why. Uh, okay, uh, uh, those for those of you wondering why these these previous builds look and or at the very least feel better than the final game. That's because the primary <laughs> reason. Yeah. <laughs> the you were saying. <laughs> it, expect to see that a lot in well, our actual. To, to be fair, that was more the player fucking up than anything. But anyway. Are you uh, sure? Anyway. Yeah, actually, yes, yes, yes. To be fair, sure, that is one of those cases. Okay. Anyway, yeah, that's because uh, because of the rush development of the game, and they had to ship the game regardless of the state, and because the the current build they were working on for this that this demo represents was not properly finished to the point where the game was completable, so they had to revert to a, a previous build that was actually completable, and that's why these yep. preview and that's why these previews look better than the final game. So let me put this into perspective for you folks. The version we got, the infamous buggy version, that was the stable version. Indeed. Now. Well, that makes sense, Jova, because uh, whenever you're whenever you're upgrading to a more recent build, obviously uh, there's going to be stuff like that. But of course, people expect that build to eventually become even better than the previous one. It's just that again, they, the developers didn't have any time to get to that point. Yeah, so the camera's still awful here. Yeah. It's better than the previous build, but it's definitely better. That yeah. begs the question, though. Well, I, I, it's only rhetorical, so don't don't actually answer. Like, uh, if this game was well, in this state, but in modern day and age, and Sega would have actually had the chance to patch it up, would have been fair better? And my answer, as a person who is really distant from Sonic games in general, is. No, because mm, there are way either. worse problems in yeah. this game. The, prob the lack of the polish, problem. yeah, the lack not of polish is of course a problem. Not to mention the fact that this is a PS3 and Xbox 360 tier game. If this game were released, hypothetically speaking, the way it is now, it wouldn't even have a shot. Like, I True. mean... Yeah, right, right trail retribution style. Let, 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 let me, let, let's just put this out of the way right now. The lack of polish is without a doubt one of the game's big problems, but it's not the only problem. As Clement and Johnny <laughs> said very well in their reviews, it's not just the lack of polish. This game is flawed by a lot of a lot of the very basic ideas behind this game's creation are just plain bad. Like the like the the for example, the terrible story, the yeah. um, the, the a, a lot of terrible the design mission. The, the, mis mission. the missions to quote to, 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 to quote Clement you know Sonic Team maybe if you didn't bother adding in stupid missions that nobody wanted to play maybe you could have polished up the actual proper game just saying that review is still one of the best for this game uh, <laughs> I, kinda, I, I, know. I mean in terms of content it's fine but it's the oh, point where he says that are... anyone who likes the game is an idiot, isn't it? Well, 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 it's not just, well, not just that. Yeah, that's just, that's stupid. But um, one of my issues with mod video game reviews most of the time is, 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 is yeah, I get it. You're angry at the game, but if you have to scream all your lines all the time, it's going to get annoying. That's also why I prefer yeah. when it comes to the review of this game. Uh, John is one. It's like uh, it, it's amazing how it's like it's 50 great. minutes, but you don't feel any of them. There are like, some things I prefer about Clement's through. There are some things I prefer about Clement's review, and there are some things I prefer about Johnny's review. Yeah, Johnny's for example, review Johnny, Johnny doesn't insult the fans. <laughs> However, I will admit Johnny does I'm, have his. I'm pretty sure it's a joke. 
Do I just come on? You're taking things a bit He's too sure seriously. He's sure a pat. I come out, it's pretty hard to predict something. Go, well, I can sure. definitely agree with Pedro that it was a joke, but I do agree that it was probably not the best presented joke. Like, he literally said, anyone um, who... In what year Clemente did this one? 2013? 2012. 2012. 2012. Was it 12? Okay, 12. It was 2012 or 13. Um, why do you ask, Tio? Hmm, I'll explain more privately later. Anyway... Also, boulders! Yes, boulders. Again, 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 that Havoc's physics engine. Yeah, again, um, I forget, was the Havoc's physics... Um, was the Havoc physics engine, like, a new big thing at the time? Like, yes, it was. The... I think so, along was, with the yeah. Unreal 3. Oh, okay. um, remember, Jova, a lot of games still have the Havoc uh, engine uh, logo. Uh, actually, uh, one thing I forgot. To, one thing I forgot to tell. One particular thing from the E3 2006 build is that you'll notice that the homing attack is not only faster, but just like Sonic Adventure One, you can actually, you know, string your homing at chains, and instead of having that brief dead period where Sonic slightly elevates into the air, you can actually do the, oh. home, the homing attack in this build actually works like the Sonic Adventure 1 homing attack. Oh, so, uh, and the... Go oh, there you go. So yeah, they were so yeah, they were planning on fixing the homing attack, but since they had to revert to a beholder build, we got the shitty homing attack. Okay. Oh, so, so, uh, apparently Havoc... Apparently the company... Oh, oh boy, hold on. The made the Felix engine is actually from Ireland. Oh, okay, so you okay, need okay, all okay. the max speed. The, okay, believe it or not, the max speed is actually manageable more well, more so in this one. For one thing, you aren't moving so blisteringly fast. The camera's low, though, I think. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah. But here's the thing. It seems when you're, you're... Oh, wait, no. I, I, I instantly yeah. regret. But the point <laughs> is also, you may have noticed the lack of enemies without bar in this attack demo. Yeah, that too. Mm. But yeah, okay, okay, okay. Well, I do agree that, yeah, maybe Sonic's moving a bit too slow, though. This one has a much better sense of balance. Actually gives you more time to prep and plan things out. Trust me, that's a huge problem with certain mock speed sections, unless you, are like, have studied this game well. Oh, one thing I'd like to mention, yeah, by the way... You still, can't, you still can't change direction while you're in the air, though. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'd like well, to mention, and uh, Johnny there's... also pointed this out in his extras part of his Let's Play, uh, you'll notice that when you're jumping from pillar to pillar in that part that we just passed through, he actually will spin, do a spinning animation as he jumps instead of just doing that awkward, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, and, thing, you yeah, know. that that he does in the final game. So yeah, I really have to wonder why they did to do those animations. Remember, also, Pedro had to, to go to an earlier build. Yeah. Also, going back to the last stage of Kingdom Valley, it's like most of Sonic's friends are in this game, but instead of getting tails to fly us around, we get an eagle. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Let's save yeah. that for when we actually complain about this. Oh, trust, oh, oh, trust me, Shiroi. I will have something to say about Tails flying Sonic somewhere in, in Kingdom, before ah. Kingdom Valley, actually, but you'll see. <laughs> also, anyway. fun fact, um, uh, you know, actually, no, I should probably save that for later when we actually get to talk about the game. But, um, yeah, uh, it's like, the habits, okay, I will admit, I definitely agree that just patching the problems would not have saved the game as a whole. See, notice the spin but animation there. I do get yeah. the I do get the inkling that the game would have at least been more fun to actually, you know, play if they patched up the controls again. That's not saying that this would have helped the game as a whole, but again, the demo does make me kind of want to play a much better version, although that's the point where I... Fortunately, want the guys at Sonic I, 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 Retro I, 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 are, are taking care of that. They're uh, After they finish porting the, the game as it is, and they'll also have that... The, the, the first build of their uh, port is going to be exactly the game as it was, and then they'll release updated builds with fixes and stuff like that. So oh, they're explaining Silver, yeah. Yeah, so now, now I'm tempted to... Which originally was supposed to be called... Uh, Venice. Yes, a mink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Alright, so yeah, let's... Now it's time to do it's Present funny, City as Silver. That, Tio, because Soliana is kind head of for a goal. Head, I, love, I love the thing there. Head for a gold ring. A, I, a I gold ring? More than one. Are there more than one gold rings in this? I swear world? to you guys, the actual city of Venice is much more entertaining than Soliana. Okay, 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 okay. To be fair, oh, don't worry, fair, Oh, it's about. crazy okay. city. Also, also, I'm just gonna say this right now. The opening cutscene actually does present it in a very good way. Oh like, gosh, Silver's so far slower than he is in the final game. Yeah. <laughs> it okay. I'm, not sure if it, I'm not sure if it's him being slower or if it's lag. Okay, okay, okay. I'll put it like Probably this. Both. Oh, I, think, yeah, I think he's both, yeah, both. Yeah, both. Okay. both. Anyway, TL, so I'm going to put this. The HD cutscenes, they do Italy justice. The main cutscenes do, do not. You mean the FMVs, Jova? Well, you know, the HD the, the, cutscenes. The, the, the oh, that's right. All, all, te 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 technically, the all the cut. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's right. Technically, all the cutscenes are considered 8D. But when I say okay. 8D, the, Mar I mean, the Mars, like, uh, the, the Mars animation planet cutscenes, you mean? Yeah. 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 Like, I'm gonna be quite honest. And okay, to their credit, that's what they showed most of the game in there. So I'll yeah. admit, when I saw that stuff, I was okay with how the humans looked with Sonic because Mars has this, uh, except for except for the man, open no. in the room, but. I'm going to address that when we get to talking about that because that deserves its own talk in general. Yeah. But for the most part, humans. Hold on, Java. I'm gonna. Um, actually, oh, the rules. I think it's. Good. I think it's. Oh no, it's not now. Go keep going, Java. Sorry. Aside, I mean, obviously, aside from Eggman, Man, the humans looked fine in the Mars the art style because, well, they looked like a blending, and Sonic still looks like his usual fun loving. That Sonic. road may be able to destroy. <laughs> English. <laughs> English. <laughs> Well, this is a problem in the final game. Yeah, the, 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 the Xbox achievement specifically. But anyway, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, I'm gonna have to interrupt you guys. I'm gonna have to interrupt you guys because uh, this is a trailer that I'm really passionate about because not a lot of people remember this trailer. This was the the September 2006 trailer. Just listen. Just listen. I'm convinced to this day that this trailer was made by four kids. Just listen. Well, four kids, voice actors. No, no, you, you'll see what I mean, Joe. A city in peril. Allow me, allow me to. A city in peril. A princess in trouble. Yes, I remember this trailer. Also, Eggman, what's a world yeah. in danger? I hate Eggman's design in this game. In a world. He looks awful. And only one hero okay. will risk everything <laughs> to save the future. <laughs> Sonic CD? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna admit, this was actually hype. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, oh, hold on, oh, listen to you, listen. The hedgehog is back. <laughs> hold on, hold on, just listen to the whole thing, listen to the whole thing. Because I, lo I love the punchline. Yes. He's overcoming tremendous obstacles at boostering next gen speeds. Sure. That's definitely Jason Griffith. Hold on. Here it comes. If you thought you knew blue, it's ha! If you. Get it? Hold on. Sonic the Hedgehog redefined, redefined for the next room. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, if you thought you guys knew blue, it's time uh, to think faster. <laughs> this trailer reminds me of something. What? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Batman one? Oh Is no. Po Pokemon? Oh, that Yu Gi Oh! The structure of the script in that trailer is the same as four kids' trailers. Uh, epic narration, and then ends with a bad, a bad joke at the end. Like, like a, 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 what's, no, a, what's supposed to be a cool? By toy keep in mind, keep in mind, Chiroy. Right? The one in Sonic 6 says, "If you thought you knew blue, it's time to think faster." Now let's see what the one in, in this one in this trailer is. I'm absolutely convinced that Four Kids did that 06 trailer because it it, it looks exactly me. like a, a Four Kids trailer. That wouldn't surprise me because starting with Shadow the Hedgehog, Four Kids was pretty much you know pretty much absorbed. Well, oh, not Four Kids as a whole, but the Four Kids cast was pretty much. Oh, here you go. It's, not, it's, it's right. It's right after the no. It's right after the no. Just listen. Yeah, it's now. The final duel. Eh? Hold on. There you go. Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie. Everything else was yeah. just practice. <laughs> sure. Uh... It's it, it, this. Tra these two trailers hit the exact same beats. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> it will, this would not anyway, surprise just, me just, because at the time. Yes. Yeah, it would not surprise me because again, at this time, the four kids See cast ya. was being absorbed into the games, pretty much. Okay, everybody. For those who don't know, uh. Pedro, what are you talking about? Why are you a, a Sonic 06 demo? I've checked the dashboard page of Sonic 06 and I didn't see any demos. Well, that's because this demo was released back in September 2006 for people to it play. It was playable in stores. That too, but it was actually available to download for the X from the Xbox Live. For every 360 user could download it. The thing, ah. the thing is that eventually, when when everybody started hating on the game after release. In, uh, Sega decided to remove this demo from the Xbox Store. Uh, here's the first thing you'll notice about this demo. The frame rate is a lot better than the final game. I, I screwed up there, let's start over. Yeah. Um, the frame rate actually looks, it looks pretty consistent in this demo. And here's one thing you'll, yeah. that's not in the final game as well. You can do... The light speed dash in this game works just like in Sonic Adventure 2. AKA, as long as there's at least one ring in front of you, you can light dash it. In the, in the final product, however, 
you can only do that dash in very specific spots that the game expects you to. Well, for example, this here, see? And if I do a spit, and if I do a lap dash, I even get point bonus points for it. This is not in the final game. So, yeah. that's kind of interesting. Bit of a fun fact, this was actually the demo I played back in the day, and I'll admit, yes! I did not get to play this game upon release because, well, because the PS3 was so overpriced and, well, since me and my family were never really into Xbox, we got the Wii. So, I'll admit, I was sad that I wasn't going to get to play you that Your family chose easy, wisely anyway, so... Game. Uh, yeah. I didn't get to play the time. demo. I went straight to the full game because I'm one of those saps who wanted the I... PS3 specifically I... for this. So, I, I got the best experience, pretty much. I didn't know this game existed till 2010. Oh. I have a bit of a more, slightly more complicated story, but so I'll spare it uh, for a later part. Uh. So basically, I got lucky, and I didn't know it. This is more, like, it's yeah, she, shockingly the, more fluid the, than... The, yeah, it is. Yeah, the the no, frame rate is much more consistent. Anyway, did you notice that light dash that I just did? Yeah. Yes. That's one of the cases in this uh, in the final build where you can do a light dash, but those other light dashes that you could do. Uh, so yeah, they were planning to have the light dash work exactly like in Sonic Adventure 2, but this they then reverted to an older build. So yeah, the game was not even close to being finished. Basic mechanics had yet to be added. So yeah, right with this part, I can already sum up what my final thoughts are going to be regarding the programming of this game. Again, I know that you know patching all this game's problems would by no means fix all the problems by a long shot, but gosh dang, if they'd actually gotten it to, you know, the level of this demo consistently, I might have at least been more fun. In my case, it's more of a curiosity bag thing. I'm just really curious to see what the game could be if its potential is fully unlocked. Well, to, uh, I'll be quite honest, in that because case, be quite should follow the fan-made PC port then. Sure. Because well, the thing about the PC port is like, well, they're literally just making the game more playable. Like, well, from what we've heard, there was supposed well, to be that's new... what, uh... Well, there was apparently supposed to be, you know, like, a more gameplay sections, you know, characters being more oh, playable. Oh, you you being... well, well, what, thing... what I mean, Jova, I mean in terms of polish. Well, one thing oh, at no, a time. Sonic okay. has a mouth. Well, one thing at a time, Jova. <laughs> oh, oh, and by the way. Oh my a... god, he does. <laughs> well, well, Jova, one thing at a time. First, let them actually port the, the game as it is, and then we'll think about adding stuff. Well, that's the thing, better, I'm pretty sure they're not Also, the demo crashed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, take, well, so much for being more stable. Oh. Take these oh. as a sign of things to come. We, yeah. We're just crashing the... The, the, the know, demo so. crashed and I was forced to reboot my Xbox 360. If you're wondering, this is not a fluke. This really is. Now, in case you're no. wondering why you... Okay, now, for those who have Sorry. played Sonic 06 and never had this problem, let me just let you know, Sonic 06 is one of those cases where the glitches are not consistent, but they are present in multiple copies. I am not kidding. Like, different copies of this game can get different yeah. glitches. Mm -hmm. It's like a mad scientist experiment. Yeah, this I time I got an S rank. Hey, where's the music? Uh, not, not, in, not, not, yeah. not in this demo, sorry, Jova. And now, he, and now, SonicCity.com. And now, well, Sonic and now here's the E3 2006 trailer. This is a trailer that everybody's familiar, most people are familiar yes. with. You know, I'm this gonna be the quite. the first trailer I saw. You know, I'm gonna be quite I honest. I hate this. this I hate it. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I just have to say pulses. something about Eggman here. <sighs> Okay, okay, okay. Well, pretty much everyone hates Eggman's design nowadays. I'll be quite honest. Back in the day, nobody was really hating on the Eggman design. Uh, back I was. then, anyway. <laughs> I'm talking about back then. I uh... mean, now I'm not saying that you know that obviously people were blinded by hype. Well, well, maybe they were now that I think about it. It's just, it's weird. Like, again, maybe it was just about this game being so terrible, and that's why people lashed out against the Eggman design. Now, don't get me wrong. I really like the Eggman design in retrospect, but I will admit, maybe it was just that hype and, you know, people thought this was what's going to be next. Well, thing. that's the thing, Jova. It's pretty clear. It's an entire argument, so I'll be more detailed later. But I mean, it's pretty clear that they wanted to, since Eggman is supposed to be a human being, loosely, uh, they wanted to integrate uh, his design to the new, uh, more realistic looking humans of the game instead of being. They didn't have that Sonic Adventure 1, though. I'm, I'm gonna Can I just say, this is great looking back at this now that we have Mario Odyssey. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love. By the way, I love. I'm not getting the parallels. No, no, notice that. Notice how in that trailer, Silver is saying, "I finally found the Ambush Trigger," and there's the fiery background behind them. Yeah. Keep that in mind for when we actually see that cutscene in the final game. 
I'm just going yes. to cap things off by saying this about this game, honestly. Now, okay. I get, okay, when it comes to Sonic Adventure, see, here's the thing. I don't think that Eggman was just made for the sake of being realistic. Here's my, here's my opinion on this. This game was, of course, made to hype up the next generation. Like, this is one of the biggest problems I have with the PS3 and Xbox 360 generation. It's that they were all about realism. So this is why I honestly don't think that Eggman's design here is just for realism. My guess is that it's just to showcase how cool the graphics can be. Because let's be quite honest, they've done Eggman among the human beings. Because people games. that's what I think of when I think of next-gen graphic. Four golden nipples. But if I can be... Okay, if I can be fair, we didn't really know much better back we'll, then. We'll just elaborate more for uh, into the when we actually get into the game. For now, I guess uh, we'll see you for the first proper. Part. All right, everybody. In the oh, next part, yeah. we start the game proper, including a little look at a beta version of the opening cutscene. So, all right, then. stay tuned the for that. The hole goes down deeper, folks. We've just scratched the tip of the iceberg. We're going to plunge in, starting next part. See everybody. See ya. See ya.